Hello guys and girls and welcome back to a new video today. This video is my preview for Harrogate Town vs Trammy Rovers on the 19th of October 2021. Trammy Rovers travel to Harrogate this this Tuesday, this Tuesday evening. With, with this being a huge game for Trammy Rovers obviously because Harrogate Town are second from what I've seen in the league table and Trammy Rovers stay in fourth in the league which Trammers have been fantastic this season obviously in the early starts of the season we are, weren't the greatest in form but now Trammers are seven games unbeaten which is absolutely fantastic with a few draws and a few decent wins and Trammers did win last uh, yesterday against Carl, Carl United with a 1-0 win and yeah it wasn't the greatest game in the first half, but Trammy Rovers did pick it up in the second half with getting the goal, which was a known goal from Carlisle United. And the last person to get a touch on it was uh, Kieran Morris. So, yeah, it was good to get a win yesterday, which was our first away win of the season, which was absolutely fantastic. The fans were electric yesterday. There was around about 800, 900 fans. I'm not too sure what I think it was 800 and something, but yeah, it was absolute fantastic, amazing to win yesterday, obviously, because that was our first away win of the season, obviously, we didn't score the goal, but we haven't scored the goal this season away from home, obviously, because it was an own goal, but the main thing is, we did get a win, but we do go to a tough place, who are Harrogate Town, which Harrogate Town are, are great, on great form at the moment, but they did get beat, uh, on Saturday, which was yesterday, and they got beat 1 0 against Colchester United, the team that we beat 2 0 last Friday, which was amazing beating Colchester last weekend, which was fantastic. But it's going to be a tough game this week. I do think Tramway Rovers will win this game again. I think we'll win the game, but I do think goal scores will be on the team on the goal sheet. So I'm, I'm going to be talking about uh, Harrogate Town now. So Harrogate Town are in great form. Obviously, they're second in the league. And they've been amazing this season. Obviously, they've been coming from the National League. And obviously, they stayed up last season, which they could have got playoffs last season. And they, they've done really well. They've gelled really well. They've got some decent players in them. Obviously, they're like Sir John Stead. I'm not too sure if he plays for them anymore, but obviously, I re I've remembered them from years because he used to be a decent player in a, year, a few years ago, but I'm not too sure how he's doing well. I, I don't know how he's doing at Harrogate Town, but yeah, um, they've got a few decent players, and their manager is Sam Weaver. He's been there for a good few years, and obviously, he is a good manager, and he knows... The tactics, he knows the way they gel, and yeah. So, my obviously, my the team that plays with them, obviously, Luke Armstrong, who is striking, he's been on form this season. I think he's scored the most goals this season. I think he scored about seven or eight, I'm not too sure, but I think it was around about seven. They've got um, Jack Diamond, who is on loan at Sunderland, and they've got um, what's his name. Josh Falkingham, I think he's the captain, and they've been doing really well, obviously, the second in the league, and I'm like, I'm really shocked that they're in second, but doing really well, so can they get promoted, obviously, it's only early on in the season, and they have been doing really well, if they can keep the form up, I think they would be okay, I think they will be in league two, but I don't think they will get promoted this season, but you never know. Anything time will tell, changes will happen. So yeah, um, going through this, the last time Tramway Rovers did play them was when Tramway Rovers did win three two at home at Pelham Park with no fans, obviously because of COVID. And the last time we won at their place was a one 0 win from a goal from Otis Khan, who is not with us. Because I think he's just doing a bit of training or something. I'm not too sure. But yeah. And the last time uh, Harrogate Town won at Tramier was in the Carwell Cup. And he did beat us on pens. But it's only a cup game. So the main thing is the league. And Tramier Rivers have won two games 
of the last times we played them, which is fantastic. But going into this game, I do think it will be a tricky game. And I do think there will be goals in this game. And I'm going for... Obviously, I'm going to be doing my team news first, and then my score prediction. So, obviously, um, they're on great form, we're on great form. So, it's going to be a good game, hopefully. So, my team news for this game, I think... Um, Ross Duran in goal, I think he was excellent yesterday. In my eyes, he should have been man of the match, and he was great. And yeah, he kept us in it, and yeah, he was just amazing. So, and I got a picture with him, which was fantastic. So I'm going to say Josh Cogley in right back. Josh Cogley's been quality for us this season. Tom Davis, you, we got to talk about him. He has just been amazing. He is a leader, and personally, I can see him being one of our captains. Possibly next season, if Peter Clark um, retires from football, Peter, um, um, Tom Davis has been excellent for us. He is a warrior, honestly. He's just so good, honestly. He's fantastic. So I'm going to say Tom Davis with Peter Clark and Cal McDonald as our left back. I'm going to say Spearn as our CDM. So he will stay there. But I will talk about something in a minute after I've done this. Um, Morris as the right wing with McManaman on the left with Spring in the midfield with Foley. So I'm going to say um, 4 1, 4 1, 3, and then 2 up front. I'm going to have Nevit up front with Josh Hawes. Just give it a try and just see what happens, or possibly switch Hawks with McManaman and McManaman goes up front, and then uh, Hawks goes on the left. Which I think that would work. But the talk about the penalties. I wouldn't give it to Morris anymore. Because I, I like him as a player. But I just don't think he's got that pens in my personal eyes. Obviously because he did miss a penalty yesterday. Which was unfortunate. But then he did score against Salford. Which wasn't the greatest of penalties. But it did go in. So that was the main thing. So in my eyes I think I'd probably give it to Spearing. Because he's more of a penalty taker than Kieran Morris. But but this is only my personal opinion. So, or possibly never up to take a penalty. I'm not sure on him on pens. I know he did score um, when he was at uh, Warrington Rounds. He did score a hat-trick at Wembley. And he did score a penalty. And that wasn't a bad penalty when he did take it. For Warrington when he did win that cup. I'm not too sure what the cup was. But I'm going for a... a I'm going for a good game, and I do think there'll be goals in this game. I'm going to say Harrogate Town won with a Luke Armstrong goal, and I'm going to say 2 on Shramia. My goals are from Tom Davis and Josh Hawks. Uh, no, sorry. Yeah, Josh Hawks with the winner. So hopefully we can get the three points this coming Tuesday, which will be amazing if we can do that. But it will be a really tough game, obviously. I'm meant to be going in the game, which I'm really looking forward to. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All the lights, come on, you boys. I'll see you guys in a bit. I like Duncan's YouTube channel. It's brilliant.